In ArcGIS, FME can help you get live updates on your spatial data by connecting to a WFS server. There are two ways of doing this. The first way is through a data interoperability connection, which is done with the data interoperability extension for ArcGIS. WFS reading is included in any installation of this extension, whether or not you purchased a license. The second way is through an FME connection, which is done by installing FME and then extending ArcGIS with FME. Because the data we retrieve from a WFS server can be very large, we want the most efficient way of viewing the part of it that we want. The way WFS data is accessed is therefore a hybrid of live queries and caching. This allows us to view attribute tables and do geoprocessing while still giving us the latest data. Initially, you can choose a subset of the data to view by setting the search envelope. The subset you choose will be cached, and when you browse outside these bounds, more is fetched. Let's look at an example of live updates on a location point. In the catalog tree in ArcMap, we'll create a connection to a WFS server. If you extended FME for ArcGIS, click Add FME Connection. If you're using the Data Interoperability extension for ArcGIS, click Add Interoperability Connection. Set the format to WFS and open the parameters to configure the connection. Set up the WFS connection by entering its URL, then add constraints by choosing the feature type you want. A list of available feature types will be shown to you when you click this Browse button after entering the URL. You can optionally set a search envelope. Again, the subset you choose will be cached locally. If the Clip to Search Envelope box is checked, any features outside of your set bounds will be clipped away. If unchecked, features outside the bounds won't be cached immediately, but you'll be able to browse outside the bounds and fetch more of the data from the WFS server. If you don't specify a search envelope, a maximum number of features will be read initially from the WFS. You can set this number inside this max features constraint. Finally, we'll set the custom expiry time. The expiry for a connection can be as quick as every minute. After the cache data gets this old, it'll be updated the next time you move or refresh the map. Now we have our FME connection set up and we can drag the feature class onto the canvas. It's worth noting that if a feature class is dragged onto an existing arc map, only the features in the extents of the current window will be fetched. Since this data is just a point, we'll add a base map. And make the point bigger. And now, every one minute, we'll get updates on this data from the WFS server. Again, we won't see the update until we refresh or move the map. So that's how you can get live updates via WFS using FME or the Data Interoperability extension in ArcGIS. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out more feature demos on the FME channel.